Alright, what's going on everybody? Been a while since I've done a tutorial, but uh, going a little bit different direction here. I'm going to do a film editing tutorial. So this one's going to be on light leaks. Uh, the, they're also called film burns, color flares, flashing light thingies, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to show you how to do this, and I'm also going to include some clips in this video uh, that you can download for some good light leak clips. Really easy to do so. Basically, they have a flashing, like, overlay sort of look. Um, yeah, they're really cool, and they add a good flair. So let me show you how to do them. So I'm going to start out with a clip. Uh, I don't know. That looks fun. We'll use this one. It's just uh, from my other longboarding channel. And it's my friend just throwing a cool toe side check or something, I don't know. And there's, they're really easy to do. So I have a light leak section. This is in Final Cut Pro X, by the way, but it's the same for any, any editing program. So I have a ton of light leak clips, and I'll include some of these, but I can't include them all just because they have a lot of, uh, a lot of, they're like really large files. So let's say, I don't know, this one looks good. I'm just going to drag it on top, but if you use a different editing program, all you have to do, actually I'm not going to use that one, it's too short. All you have to do is do the same thing however you do it. So all I'm going to do here is just drag this on top so it is covering this other clip. If I can get this here. So when you watch the video now, this is what you see. Just like a lame, lame black screen. But now I'm going to change the compositing. And so any other editing program will also have options. But this is where they are in Final Cut. Use the inspector, compositing. And I'm going to do a screen. You can also do an add or a lighten. But, uh, it's really it's really up to you how you do it. So let's watch the clip now. I'll let it render here. And all you really have to do, I'll include a couple of video files here before I play this, but all you have to do is search Light Leaks Clips Download on Google and you'll find tons of videos. If they're not 1080, they're 720 and you really won't notice the difference. Or you can make them yourself if you have a DSLR. I made all of these myself. All you do is take the lens off and shine a light in it and so like this one they look really good I've used them in our my movies too but so anyway let's watch what our clip looks like here so you see those cool color overlays <laughs> nice and you can change the color properties of the clip in Final Cut as well So you can use this color correction here and tweak the color. So if you want more like, I don't know, pinks or something, I don't know, who knows. All right, so here this is just with a little color correction. I changed it to something more, a um, little bit more vibrant. And this is the original color. But so it's really, I mean, it's really easy to use. There's tons of different clips. There's ones I made myself. There's like these um, artificial ones. So this gets rendering. Do the screen. So like I said, I'll include a couple of these in a zip and then I'll play the final product at the end, but that's how you do it. Um, it really just comes down to what video, um, like what light leak video you can use. I mean, there's other ways to do it. You can use it using a generator, but this is the easiest way that I've found, and it really adds a professional looking flair to your video. And you really just have to manipulate that video and you can get any different kind of looks out of it. So yeah, there it is, light leaks. Uh, color flares, film burns, there's tons of different names for them. Um, 
Let's watch the final clip here. So that's it. Catch you guys later.